everybody, it's Amber here of brownbombshellbeauty.com. Um, so I wanted to come on and do a video using the MAC Lovers Obsession um, collection, which I was going to do um, a review on the blog when I first got the items, but then everything sold out, and I was like, well then what would be the point? That's just kind of rubbing it in people's faces, isn't it? Yeah, so I decided to hold off, and then I found out yesterday that MAC has created a waitlist because they're going to whip up another batch of the collection and sell it on the website. So what I wanted to do was show you some of the shades that I got and um, take it from there. So what did I get? I got three of the lip glasses and one of the eyeshadows. And let's see here. Let's see, from the lip glass, I got all of my Purple Life, which is created by Patrice of Afrobella.com. Really, really gorgeous purple. And then I got, and I don't know if I'm saying this right at all, Kakwi, or Kaklot. Like I said, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I probably just butchered the crap out of it, but um, a really gorgeous um peachy shade like a coral and I've been wanting a really really great coral all summer and then Nitrolicious 2046 um, which is from the Nitrolicious fashion blog it's a really gorgeous true true blue red and you know how I love a red lip and then from the eyeshadows I got from the end of the makeup girl Hocus Pocus which is a really great Smoky, shimmery, pewter, grayish kind of color. And I was going to do pictures of these, but all the pictures I took sucked really bad. Um, I couldn't get the lighting right, and they looked blurry and crazy, and you couldn't really get the gist of the color, so I decided to do a video. So let's hope that it turns out better doing a video. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you all of my purple light first. And I love purple. It is my absolute favorite shade for my whole life. My uh, birthstone is amethyst. My first ever handbag that my godmother gave me when I was five was purple. So I've been a purple fiend forever. So I knew I had to get all my purple life. So this is it, and even though I know my lighting here is not the best, this is still showing up way better than those crazy pictures I was taking. So it's working. Just a really, really rich purple. So now I'm going to put some on here. And I apologize for the glare from my glasses, but I don't have my contacts on, so there you have it. And I just love this because you would think that a, such a purpley color wouldn't look all that wearable, but in my opinion, it really does, especially on brown skin. Let me see if I can move the camera in closer so you can see. There you go. All of my purple life. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And also, if you're not really sure if you're feeling the whole vibrant purple thing, what you could do is I've got some of the MAC Gaga um, lip glass, which is a nudie color. And if you just put some of this on over it, and blend it in. It lightens it up a little bit and makes it a little bit more mauve. Let me look in a real mirror. Yeah. Not that I have lip glass all over my teeth. But there we go. And that's with the Gaga. 
lip gloss over it. I love it. Looks great. So, next up, I'm going to do the coral shade that I said completely incorrectly. And it's spelled C A Q U I. Yeah, C A Q U I. I swear I am literate. I can read things, I just cannot read this correctly. So, let me show you a little swatch here. And a lot of people were sleeping on this shade, it looked like, but it finally sold out. I think once people started to see swatches of how pretty it looked. See, it looks like an orange coral shade. Let's put some on. And this would just look really gorgeous with really bronze skin. And lots of black lashes and just like a summery pretty look with me. Make sure I got it on right here. It is very hard to see what you're doing in this camera. Okay, let me bring it in closer. There we go. Let me put on a little bit more for you guys. There we go. I think that's a little bit better to see it. But I really, really like it. Great, great shade. So, next up, I'm going to do the Nitrolicious shade. And I love red. And I did a um, whole collection on the blog of the best red lipsticks, lip pencils, lip glosses for brown skin. So if you're looking for red and you want some others besides this one, definitely check it out. I'll put up a link at the bottom of the video here. But let me give you a swatch of this one. Isn't that pretty? There we go. That's a good swatch. So let me put some on. And one of my favorite red lip colors ever is MAC Ruby Woo. And so I think this would be really cute over that. Because Ruby Woo is like the most matte lipstick on planet Earth. And so I think adding a little bit, bit of this on top of it would give it a really pretty uh, dimension. There we go. Okay, so let me bring the camera in a little bit. Nitrolicious. 2046. Love, 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 love this color. Super, super gorgeous. I may just leave that on while we move on to the uh, the eyeshadow. So we've got Hocus Pocus. I don't know how this is going to work without me having my contacts in, but we're going to give it a whirl. Um, so let me give you guys a little bit of a swatch here of Hocus Pocus. And um, Leanne, you know, said that she wanted to make sure that you could just swipe it on with your finger and go. And it really is um, a really easy smoky eye. You don't need a whole bunch of other shades to make it work. You really could just get away with just using Hocus Pocus and calling it a day. So I'm going to use a brush. I haven't tried it with a brush yet, actually. In my mirror here, because I can't see. 
to. And I already have on some mascara and black liner, so I'm just going to put this on here. Hopefully, I won't block you guys from seeing. So instead of, you know, swiping across the whole eye, I'm just dabbing it on. This is just so pretty. It's got like a shimmer to it, which keeps it from looking really flat and heavy. I'm going to take a blender brush here and blend it out. I put on a dab more in the center. Then let me bring the camera in so you guys can see. It's just a really pretty, like, shimmery, pewter kind of shade. Okay, that did not help things. Sorry, guys. I'm using my MacBook to record this. So let me do the other eye so I don't look cockeyed and crazy. And once again with the mirror... realize these bright red lips might be a little bit distracting from the eye situation we've got going on here but let's go ahead and make it work I just really like that and I need I think some more black liner. I think that would really help the whole smokiness situation. So yeah, let me get some more some more black liner. So I took off the other lip color that I was wearing and just put on some of the Gaga mixed with the All of My Purple Life, which I think goes a little bit better with this eye look for right now. Um, but yeah, Focus Pocus. I really, really love it. I love all the shades um, that I got. I'm really happy that I got to get all the ones that I wanted. So, again, we've got the Hocus Pocus. Really pretty smoky eye, which I'm wearing now. And then we've got the All of My Purple Life, which is really, really gorgeous. And also, let me show you guys one other thing, because I know a lot of people are really into dupes and all that kind of stuff. And there was one other MAC shade that I think people might think is a dupe, but it really isn't. This is another purple from MAC that I really love. It was from the Feline collection. I think that's what it was called. And the shade was called Lap of Luxury. And this is it. Ignore that eyeshadow swatch there. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of the um, all of my purple life next to it, just so you can kind of see that they're not the same at all. See? All my purple life, lap of luxury. Very, very different. Okay, if I could get it together here. There we go. Very, very different shades. And honestly, I've never seen anything like all of my purple life. And I would know, because like I said, I'm a purple addict. 
and I've never seen any other color like it. So Patrice really knocked it out the park with this one. Um, for brown girls especially, I think these um, four items are really, really phenomenal. And I think you're going to be really, really, really happy with them. So rate, comment, uh, subscribe, and also check me out over on the blog at brownbombshellbeauty.com. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you later. Go!